So Business Insider uh, just revealed some leaks that are coming out of the U.S. government. And these leaks allege basically that <laughs> the um, hijackers of 9-11 had contacts with the Saudi government. I mean, this is stuff that everybody knows, okay? This isn't new. Huh? But, you know, all of a sudden they're presenting it like it's a new thing. And more importantly, they're, they're putting the stamp of, of like officialdom on it. OK, this is like official now because everybody back in the day, when as soon as this happened, everybody figured, you know, the Saudi hit, uh, hijackers, because that's what they all were. These 19 hijackers of 9-11, they were all Saudi citizens and they must have had some connection with uh, Saudi intelligence. Right. I mean, we know for a fact that there were people before 9-11 who knew what was about to happen, who were connected to various governments. I mean, just look up, uh, say, dancing Israelis or look up the fact that a whole bunch of airline stock was uh, shorted right before 9-11. What do you think happened, man? Somebody in some government knew, somebody in some government knew and made some profit off of it. But most important of all, see, the Saudi government knew and the U.S. government knew that the Saudi government knew. Mm -hmm. But it's only now that they're releasing this information. I mean, how long ago was 9-11? Uh, 21 years. 21 years later, they're releasing this information out of the blue. They're releasing it for a reason. This leak is no leak. This leak is a message. It's a message to Saudi Arabia. It's a message to Mohammed bin Salman, who is the uh, crown prince of uh, Saudi Arabia. He's the son of the king, one of the sons of the king. And uh, he is definitely the guy who's going to be taking over. He's a man of incredible energy, incredible brains, incredible drive, incredible ambition, and incredible ruthlessness. I mean, he's uh, you know nobody to mess with. But the U.S. government is messing with him by putting this out there. Why do you think? Because the Saudi Arabia-U.S. relationship is going south in a hurry. Mohammed bin Salman you know, as of late, has been making noises about se selling Saudi oil in RMB, the currency of China. And that, that probably is sending shivers up the spine of the Federal Reserve and the Treasury Department. Because after all, see, the whole architecture of the dollar is propped up on the fact that Saudi Arabia sells its oil exclusively in dollars. For various technical reasons, they also sell a little bit of it in different currencies, but that's marginal. The, the bulk of their oil, they sell it in dollars. And the bulk of their dollar earnings, they reinvested into U.S. Treasury bonds. This is the petrodollar. And it is the basis of the whole financial architecture of the United States. It's the reason the United States can carry these enormous deficits, trade deficits, fiscal deficits, not just at the federal level, but the state level, the local level, the agency level. The United States needs Saudi Arabia to sell all of its oil in dollars and reinvest all of its dollar earnings into treasury bonds, or else the United States will go broke. And the fact that Mohammed bin Salman has been toying with the idea of selling oil to the Chinese directly without the intermediation of the U.S. dollar. That's why this is coming out. That's why this information is coming out now, and it's just an opening salvo. It's a warning. It's a warning to the Saudis. It's a warning to them to tell them and telling them basically, watch it. We can make your life difficult. And this is just a little taste. You're going to have a little PR problem over this. But we can start ratcheting up the problems if you become a problem for us. I've been thinking about this for a while, and I do believe that the United States' next military adventure, and it's going to be a doozy of an adventure, by the way, is not going to be in Ukraine. It's not probably going to be even in China. It's going to be in Saudi Arabia. Because Mohammed bin Salman, I read a very interesting biography of him. I mean, the guy, holy cow, nobody to mess with. Huh? And once he gets an idea in his head, you know, he is, he sticks to it. And once he's made up his mind on a course of action, he tends to get there. 
Now, Mohammed bin Salman is no fool. He recognizes that the US dollar is toast. It's going down the tubes. He recognizes that China is potentially his biggest market. He also recognizes, crucially, that Saudi oil is not limitless. And so he knows that it would be smart to start positioning Saudi Arabia with the coming thing. And the coming thing is China, Russia, India, Iran. That's the coming thing. And Mohammed bin Salman has been very clever about opening lines of dialogue with the Iranians. They're meeting all the time in Europe, in Vienna. And this is a known fact. This is not something I'm making up. Just Google it yourself. See, Mohammed bin Salman realizes what, where is the future, where the future of Saudi Arabia lies. And it does not lie with the United States. The United States is going down the tubes. Everybody realizes it. Mohammed bin Salman is positioning himself and his country for that future with a drastically diminished American power. And so the Biden administration wants to make sure that MBS remembers who its current friends are and not mess with the United States, at least not yet. Mm -hmm. And so they're sending this little warning and it's gonna get worse and worse and worse because MBS is gonna ignore the United States. And eventually the United States is going to get into a froth over Saudi Arabia. I'm telling you right now, the next big thing for the United States is going to be the invasion of Saudi Arabia. It sounds insane at this time, of course, but think back to late 2019. Could you imagine all that's happened over the last two and a half years? Huh? If you could teleport yourself back to November of 2019, the pandemic, the BLM riots, the, um, the vaccine mandates, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, the complete vanquishing of the Bill of Rights in the United States, and now this Russian invasion of Ukraine, and all the blowback that's causing the European and American economies, how they sanctioned Russia, and it was worse for them? I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. Could you imagine anything like that? No, nobody could. But you can see where the ball is bouncing and where the next bounce is going to be. Not right away, it's actually not the next bounce, but maybe two, three more bounces of the bright red ball. Right now it's bouncing on Ukraine, it's gonna bounce a couple more things, and then it's gonna bounce on Saudi Arabia. In five years time, there are gonna be troops fighting in Saudi Arabia, US troops fighting in Saudi Arabia. You watch.